Hi everyone, La Montagnard 89 here. I was intending to make my second video more about the script cutting and the design of the show, but I think that because uh, that's a very dynamic sort of creature, and yeah, we'll, we'll get into that soon, but I think it's more of a later in the process kind of thing to discuss after we've had a production meeting or two, so I've decided to make this next video about auditions, about the generalities, for what I think are obvious reasons and not the specifics, of auditions because uh, Obviously, it's an ongoing thing at this point, and we don't want to uh, discuss specific auditions. I think that's fairly uh, clear why. So I will instead discuss the generalities, like how we came up with our algorithm that we are going to set up and pick people with. So the first thing I want to discuss is scene selection for the auditions. Now, R2, uh, Richard II, uh, R2 is a very difficult play to find audition scenes in because the play is about 85% speech. Very long speeches, very hard for people to react to those, uh, hard enough to do the Shakespeare stuff when it's being thrown at you, even harder when you really have to just react to what somebody else is saying. And I thought that was a little unfair, so I tried to find scenes that were more back and forthy, and this play doesn't have too much of that. I've linked to the scenes that we did use, though, and the first one, uh, I'll do them chronologically in the play, though this is not the order in which uh, I prefer them as audition pieces. Uh, the first one is from Act 1. This is right after Bolingbroke has been exiled, and it's, uh, it's the part from when uh, you know, John Gaunt is, is telling uh, Henry that, that he should accept his punishment and, and agree. He's like, why dost thou hoard uh, thy words uh, and return no greeting to thy friends? And then it goes through Henry's explanation of why he, he feels it so deeply that he's being exiled and John Gaunt trying to comfort him about it. The second scene uh, chronologically is... Um, is from Act 2. This is when John Gaunt is dying and he's uh, trying to get Richard to, to pay attention to him and not uh, fail being king so much. And the third one is from Richard's uh, deposition scene where he hands over the crown and freaks out. And I use the part of the scene where he is, um, where he's looking at the mirror in particular because I think that's a very uh, evocative sort of scene. So those are the three that we're using. Some interesting things that we've noticed, this is just after day one of auditions, so by far not everything that we're going to see, but just general trends that we have noticed, is the um, the mirror scene where, where Richard you know looks at the mirror there. Very evocative. That does bring out a lot in people. You, you do get to see a lot of what they can do. It, it, it does uh, slightly flatter people. People tend to be very forceful in a, in a type of scene like that, no matter what. So that, that does highlight uh, stage presence where, where it exists, which is often. Uh, and then the other scenes, very difficult, we, you, but difficult in very illuminating ways. Not difficult like, oh, everyone we saw doing them was bad, but no, people were, were really great and it was very, very illuminating. You, you get to see real, real depth to different performances. Uh, you can tell, uh, and a lot of people who haven't held auditions, it's kind of hard to ex explain how this really happens, but you can tell if people are better at playing older, playing younger, or uh, you know, playing more feminine, playing more masculine. And, and you, really, you really can get a sense, especially from, from that kind of, of scene with that, the, the gaunt Bolingbroke scene, because uh, you have this idea where people need to be paternal or, or very, very fiery and angry, and you can, that really does show a lot, which was the reason why we picked that scene, because these roles can be played in many different ways. You can, you can pick people for, for different types from the same scene, because it can be played in all sorts of ways. That was something we were hoping for and something that was definitely borne out, we think, in this first day of auditions. So uh, with that, I hope that you do take a peek at those scenes, and indeed all of the scenes, because they're all awesome. Uh, as you go through this experience here, it'll be great to have a bit of a, a backing in Richard II. It's a wonderful, wonderful play, so do take a peek about at that. I know that this is a, kind of a short one, but uh, auditions, you know, as I said, you know, it's, it's a general sort of idea. We can't obviously get into specifics, and uh, I'll be back uh, next time with more, uh, well, with a yay, we have a cast list, and uh, as well as uh, plans going forward, that's probably when I'll get into the, uh, you know, script design uh, element there. There was a fun method to the madness to the script cutting that I think would be kind of fun for people who haven't really done that to think about. It was certainly fun for me, this being my first time doing something like that, to, to look at what kind of thinking goes into doing that. So I hope that you will find that fun. I hope you found this fun. And I'll see you back here next week with more updates on R2. Peace. <laughs>